Again, regardless of what's happening. Regardless of nothing, you don't need a manhandle and he can get in the car by himself. Nothing. I've seen too many of the shit, experienced too many with my family. You're not going to do it again. Leave me alone. Get out of my way. I'm not talking to y'all. I'm making sure that that's, he's getting in the car that's, fine. That's perfectly fine. fine with his own will. You're not that's going perfectly over fine. There. That's all I do now. And I okay? Do you see me walking towards the car? No. I'm letting you know that. I'm witnessing because nobody's gonna move me from here until my car my Yes, sir. Back with another one. Man, we got a we got another crazy one, man. Another crazy one. Some people, man, they be thinking they they big and bad and they could just talk to the police any kind of way. And and they don't really they don't really be backing that up. Cause when that pressure get applied to them, well, ain't really nothing you can do. The police gonna always win. They gonna always win. And it's a lose lose. But I'm gonna go ahead and dive into it. But before I dive into it, make sure you like, man. Make sure you comment, man. Make sure you subscribe, man. Now make sure you like, comment, subscribe, man. Hit that notification bell too, now. Hit that notification bell so you get the video when they drop. Get that drop when they drop. So we can run it up. Let's run it up. 10th of 2023. Officers from the DeLand Police Department noticed a car driving recklessly in a Walmart parking lot before skidding out into a local neighborhood. Behind the wheel was a man named Axel and his unhinged girlfriend, Jalixmar. The officers managed to pull the couple over and immediately hold them at gunpoint. We're at the entrance 10 Center. I'm out with them. Face away! Turn off the car! Yeah, turn it off. Step out of the car with your hands up now. One at a time. Get back in the car. Get back in the car. Get back in the car now. Walk back. Walk back. Walk back now. What is your You're, you're going to get changed if you don't fucking listen. Back up now. Back get up. On get on your knees now. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. I got it. What the fuck? Are we serious? Yeah. I'm under arrest yet? For what? Stand up. Can you relax, buddy? What is this extra shit you got going on? Have a seat for now. Was that hard, brother? Like, why are you being so hostile? Get in the car. Get in the car. You want me to sit in here? Did I start her? Thank you. You did. <laughs> you have any ID, ma'am? No, we live right here. Okay. All right. You don't understand what's going on? Can you, you can't drive like that. Let me speak. Okay, speak. Let me speak. speak. First of all, we just got out of Walmart. The mm -hmm. light was shut off. We we're trying to go home as fast we as possible. We heard you. We heard you. Relax. Re There's relax. no. We You're have no what? arms. We know our laws. We have okay. no arms. Nothing that can endanger us. You're and driving we recklessly, anything. though. He wasn't driving recklessly. Okay. He was walking right. straight over here. Do you have any ID on you? I can go get it if you guys would not treat my boyfriend any? like he's a criminal because he is not. Okay. And you're not going to do that. Okay. Because I'll call my lawyer have, right now. Okay, that's fine. I'm just asking if you have an idea. I'm telling you I can go get it from home, but you're not going to okay. treat my boyfriend like he's some criminal. I'm not treating your boyfriend like he's he a criminal. He just did, and he just did to me okay. too. Okay, all right. Because we just had a situation at Walmart with racial issues, and we're not going to do it again. Okay, well, I know my rights, and he, he didn't need to do that. Nobody's like making anything racial, okay? He did not do that. He didn't need to have him come. Amy, I'm telling him to put his arms up when okay, he has nothing fine. illegal. And you, you can't drive recklessly in here. And number two, you need to abide by what we say because we're giving you lawful commands. If he's not doing it, then we can go he's ahead and arrest him. He's not doing anything illegal okay. for it to give right. him commands. Well, that's fine. That's what you think. All right, just hang so tight in know. here. Okay, all right. You know more than I do. Because he has no, no arms, no nothing to be to making him okay. treating like he needs to come out with his arms up or anything like anything. No. The fuck? You're not going to do it with me. My boyfriend, you're not going to do it with me. You're not going to do it with nobody. Fuck out of here. <laughs> I just told your officer that my ID's at my house. If you want me to go get it, I can go get it. That's where her name is. Yeah, her date of birth. J-A-L-I-X-M. Well, she a rattle. She said, hey, you ain't even handle my man like that. Even if I have to go to jail, we both going to be in jail. Nobody ain't going to handle him or talk to him like that. It's up for me. It's up for me. Hey, we can go ahead and get have her get herself out, ID her, then I'm filling the car so we can do an inventory of the vehicle. A what on the vehicle? You can grab your stuff, um, whatever is yours, because we're taking the vehicle. All right, when you step out, just be calm and relax and listen to what I say. And I'm going to fix those cuffs for you. Come on, step up. Fix the car, bud.
Don't move your wrist, I'm trying to make it where it won't hurt you, buddy. So, how was this a regular diving? He's going to explain everything in a second, okay? I just want to use common sense here as to I'm going in a straight line in fourth gear. I want you to use common sense when you're driving like the way you were. Bro, <laughs> you really passed me when I was in third I'm not your bro. We heard you from Walmart. I have a straight line. We heard you from that. Walmart. You were leaving Walmart. You were driving without, you were driving without any headlights. Hey, do you you squealed tires to me. Huh? How do you pop your trunk? How do I pop my trunk? Yeah, how do you pop Can I show you it's really not? And then you, you came spinning tires out of the Walmart parking lot, hauling ass down beers for doing over 60. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. I'm not going to sit here and argue with you, okay? You're yeah, not, because you passed by me. You're like, you can't sit here and tell me you was not my speed when you're passing by me. I saw you. I did a vis visual estimate on your speed, and you I can't. You heard him. He did a visible estimate on my speed. While this sounds completely insane, Officers are well within their jurisdiction to make traffic stops based on visual estimates. But this judgment is highly dependent on an officer's training and can be used in court to actually turn things in the favor of the defendant. However, as you're about to see, this couple is about to escalate things far beyond the point of having any legal re- How can your eyes tell you how fast a car is going? You probably going by the sound yeah, you heard burnout and all that. Not saying that he wasn't going 60, but how can your eyes tell you a speed? That's what y'all have radar guns for. You telling me that you could just look at my car and be like, oh, he going 100 miles per hour and I, I'm really going 50. Come on, now. We, we got to stop this now. They be just making up stuff as they go. Talking about you visually seeing this person... With your eyes, your eyes. So you got a radar built in your eyes and your head. Nah, no, bro. I don't think nobody that special. Three course. <laughs> Funny thing is, you're still going to jail. Are you guys taking him too? Yes. Resistant? Resistant. Like he resisted? I guess, I guess he gave him some lawful orders to put his hands up or whatever. But I seen him put his hands up. Papi, callate. Papi, callate. Cállate, por favor. Yeah. Quédate callado. Because yeah. si esto cabrón te dice algo, que, me voy a poner yo y yo no voy para pa la cárcel tampoco. Por favor, cállate. En the last. They're not going to make sure they treat him right. The well, make sure they treat him right. Papi, get in the car easily and you'll be fine. But you're not going to manhandle him. Listen, nothing's going to happen. Listen, nothing's going on. We have everything on body cam. Everything on body cam. I just seen him shoving him. You don't need to tell me shit. Well, if he needs to listen. To what we're saying. You're not gonna tell me shit because I just seen him pushing him and all he's doing is standing there. Okay, the fuck? Totally Again, regardless the of what's happening. Regardless of nothing, you don't need a manhandle and he can get in the car by himself. Nothing. I seen too many of the shit, experienced too many with my family. You're not gonna do it again. Leave me alone. Get out of my way. I'm not talking to y'all. I'm making sure that that's, he's getting in the car. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine with his own will. You're not that's going perfectly over fine. There. That's all I do now. And I okay. Do you see me walking towards the car? No. I'm letting you know that. I'm witnessing because nobody's gonna move me from here until my car, my boyfriend gets in the car by himself without nobody pushing and shoving him. Okay. He's complying perfectly fine. I'm watching him. Jalixmar makes a good point here. Keeping aside his reckless driving, the boyfriend has done very little to resist the officer's commands. If anything, he has been complying with every command given to him besides a few arguments. Ironically though, Jalixmar is about to do something that incriminates her more than her boyfriend. Bro, he said he estimated my speed with his no, eyes. Like, what's the fuck? <laughs> and don't listen to any of what these son of a bitches need to say. He doesn't need to go to jail. You so lucky I didn't fucking record whenever you were telling him to put his arms up because he fucking did it and you know that shit. Somebody's coming Somebody's to pick up my groceries. Don't worry. Don't they be lying, man. They be oh, just trying to say anything is resistant. And you don't need to be looking through the fucking Hey! There, go, there go, is no back back up. Up. Back 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 back. Don't touch me! Don't fucking touch me! Don't touch me! Don't fucking touch me! Oh, no. Now your crime finna be worse than theirs. I mean, then your boyfriend. You finna do some time. I'm not even fucking... Get cuffs. Get cuffs. Fuck all y'all. Fucking do anything. I'm not even fucking resisting and you're fucking breaking my arm. You are now. I ain't gonna lie, that's why I like oh I like calm women. I like my woman calm. That's that's too crazy. You're gonna get us in some trouble. I see you can't control your mouth. You doing all that there, you should just know how to just keep it quiet. I need somebody to come bomb me out. 
How you gonna bomb me out if you in jail? And your and your crime is worse than mine. Come on now. Let's make it make sense. They did say them, them Spanish women's kind of feisty though. That probably why she acting like that. Jill, that's what? enough. Well, there's no I'm done. For nothing. I'm I done talking to you. Shut up. Bitch, fuck you. <laughs> y'all think y'all can just search people and then pull people over? That car is being towed. We can search whatever we want to. I don't give a fuck. I don't. They find what? Groceries? Right. Get your ass in the car. I'll We're done doing that. Yeah. Dang. See now you. Now your groceries finna go bad. You should have just shut up, man. Let's say you can't search your car, then you can't have no fucking more. Should just shut up. So what's going on? Now y'all gotta spend that money to bond both y'all out. Reckless driving and resisting police. So spend more money on groceries. That he's gonna have and then she's gonna have resisting. Okay? Which they're misdemeanors. Okay, so Oh, okay. I thought she swung on them. They do like ten percent or whatever it is. Could be five hundred bucks, could be a thousand for both of them to bond them out. Or they'll stay the night and then they'll get released in the morning. Tow truck's here. Ultimately, both Jalixmar and Axel were charged with resisting an officer without violence, resulting in a $500 bond for both. However, Axel's situation would be worse as he was given an additional charge for reckless driving, which also had a bond of $500. I ain't gonna lie, man. They baited them into that. I, that that feel like that the police was really just on a power trip. For one, how can you estimate somebody's speed with your eyes? You can't you can't put no actual speed on the person if it's only from your eyes, because your eyes can't put numbers in it on the speed that somebody doing. Like that is crazy to be able to even get away with that. And then y'all just like, oh, we can't get that. Or um resisting. This man ain't even resist. He did they ain't everything y'all asked him. Only time he really didn't do it because y'all giving him different orders and stuff when he was getting out of the car. But if that was resisting, like bro, you ain't really gotta do nothing to resist. All you could you you blink your eyes, you resisting. You know what I'm saying? Like you giving them lawful orders and I guess it, what if this man ain't have no high education level? He might have not understood you. And you gonna put a resistant charge on this man? Y'all was reaching for real. But the girl, she she brought that on herself. She should have just kept it quiet. The man was going to jail, so it's like what you wanted to bond with your boyfriend and both y'all could have a story to talk about the next day. Yeah, we both went to jail. Stupid. Y'all just wasted money. I guess your parent, his parents or whoever parents that were probably got the groceries. But now you, you finna go eat jail food. You finna spend all this time in jail, which it ain't that much. But you know the process and out of jail and all that, that take a while. You finna do all that for nothing, just cause you wanted to feel like you was macho out there. You ain't, you ain't better than the police, cause it, it's not gonna end well when you, when you picking battles with the police. They always find a way to target you, and then now every time you get pulled over, they got you in the system just to mess with you. Come on now, we got to do better. Got to do better. Till next time. Yes, sir.